yeah, the night is alive. You can feel the heartbeat. Let's just go with the flow. We've been working all week. It doesn't really matter if you're moving your feet. Big Brother's bit on the side. Who needs the Spice Girls, Jesse J, or a double, of a double dose of Emily Sunday when you have Jeff? Give it up for yeah. Jeff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, last night's closing ceremony was pretty impressive, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you put on a real finale show. Are you ready? <laughs> So we've enjoyed <laughs> 70 days. If you could see what's going on behind the scenes, you would be laughing as well. Uh, we've enjoyed 70 days of vintage Big Brother. Perhaps, though, Scott put it best. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. But maybe without the best of times. Uh, and tonight, you have crowned your champion. <laughs> uh, now, I know you are probably watching at home and going... No one's turned up for the audience for the finale and fit on the side. Uh, but don't worry, it is not an empty seat scandal. We're expecting some very special guests shortly. Uh, in the meantime, you'll have to make do with our panel. Superstars, all three of them, uh, but not too much of a challenge for our celeb booking team as they are contractually obliged to appear. Uh, first up, he's had what I would say quite a kinky series. Uh, not only has he talked dirty on the phone three times a week, but through his best mate or housemate BTs, he's given all of the evictees a cream pie. Very nice. It's Jamie East. <laughs> Forget Jessica Ennis. My next panellist deserves a gold medal for her sterling weekend work, not least for enjoying the torture of the housemates butchering karaoke songs. It's Alice Levine. <laughs> And I promise you, that is the very last Olympics reference that we will have tonight. Uh, and finally, if Big Brother's bit on the side... Uh, if I'm Big Brother's bit on the side, then he is the daddy, which kind of makes... What does it make him? Makes him my father-in-law of sorts. It's Brian Dowling. Yeah! Uh, OK, guys, have some champagne. It's finale night after all. Oh, hello! Oh, Goodness oh. me! Turn around. Uh, Brian. Oh, so oh, look, so what, do you, <laughs> what do you make of our butler in the bus? I want one. Every time he, he stands on a leg, Get him to bend over. his buttock <laughs> clenches. Brian. I want one in my dressing room. Do you know what? I did I did think when they're on You've the show, do they already. wear G-strings? But they haven't, have they? He's just totally naked underneath that. Totally naked, and we love it. Totally naked. Yes. Uh, let's stop perving, shall okay. we? OK. Uh, so, Sir William Big Brother is over yeah. for another... Yeah, yes. Brian, oh. we know it feels really weird with half an empty audience. It does. Um, we know that we, you have to say neutral. Well, not so much, it's over. But <laughs> <laughs> so, OK, so did the right person win this evening? I, 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 think, I think initially let's address the fact that we, had a, we have a winner that got cheered and not booed. Yes. yes. And we had a second place finalist yes, who got that cheered, got cheered. And that's the way the show Sarah should be. And Sarah got cheered. Yes. So of five, we had three really and good And that's responses. the final we won. I think the winner is very reflective of the series. Yeah. I think he had a story to tell. It was told beautifully. And I think a deserved winner. And him quite early on as well. That yes. story, he kind of got it out of the way. Yes. So it's not like he was milking it throughout the no. whole series. Yeah. Um, Alice, were you happy with the result this evening? Initially, I thought I wanted one of the bigger characters to win because that rarely happens and they usually kind of leave in the early days. Um, but I think a real Big Brother fan has won and someone yeah. that's obviously watched it for a really long time. Yeah. And I think uh, maybe a little bit like Aaron from last year, kind of has assessed it and gone about it in his own way. But then way. we've had a couple of really... Like, Brian Bella was a massive, massive fan. And, massive fan. Yeah. and he won as well. Aaron, last year, as you said, massive fan. So, yeah, in that and, way, it's nice. And it's been on for so long now that it's hard not to assess it if you're going to go on it because you want to try and win the money. But I think or the thing you want to get what you want to win. Well, is that he didn't overplay the fact that he was a yeah, huge fan. He didn't absolutely. think about it. He was a fan but went in genuinely on his journey. Yeah. And didn't uh, have a Jay game plan as such. Yes, yes exactly, yeah. Uh, was Luke A your winner? No. <laughs> but not, not in a... It's not always in! in. No, but always! Not, but not for a bad reason. I didn't have 
any winner throughout the whole series. I couldn't it was call, hard, wasn't I it? couldn't call it. I could, no one was really a kind of out-and-out -out favourite. No one was really an out-and-out... -out, no, there were a couple of out-and-out -out villains. <laughs> but, but those last five were so hard to call that. Yeah, impossible to call. I agree there. The whole series was pretty hard to call, to be honest. And, and uh, evictions as well. It yes. was, you never really knew what was going to happen. What I've learned is that what the crowd actually at the show... Their reaction is not true to what people are watching. Yeah, it can it's be very quite panto misleading. up there, as yes. everybody says, isn't it? Yeah. So what about you guys? Is this who you wanted to win? Yes. yes. No. You look so happy, I have to come to you. Like, yes, I really wanted him to win. I did. Luke ate all the way, right from the beginning. Very, very pleased. I didn't think he would, but I'm glad he did. Okay, anybody else? I don't think so. he would win. You always thought he'd win from I the beginning. Always so yeah, always from the beginning. Yeah, because he's kind of got the trans kind of community behind him. Yeah. Plus, he's such a lovely guy. Yeah. Didn't really fall out he with anyone apart real. from Becky. Yeah, very genuine, very lovely, and very likeable. And he stuck likeable. up for himself when he needed to. Yeah. And it's his wedding anniversary today. And it's well. his wedding Woo! anniversary. And um, it has been an action-packed year, whether that was purely for bitching or other reasons. I'd say mainly bitching. Uh, what has been your favourite moment? Oh, well, of course, I think it's the white room task. The button. I think, yeah. yeah, I think just the fact that Connor and Lucas in that room and just Connor hitting the budding, the button, the budding, the button, and then the reaction, the fallout from that, and then Connor saying, I'm friends with him because of my relationship with Ashley, not yeah. because I like him. Aaron's my best friend. And just so you can never second guess what they're going to do or yeah. say. Classic just when you think brother. you know them, they do that. They and he changed. got 50 grand and he was like, I know That's you've enough. already shown it tonight to Lucas, but here it is yes. just for you. Oh, thank you, Emma. Five. <laughs> Connor, you have chosen to take £50,000 from the prize fund. <laughs> you shouldn't want to leave. It's me. It's going to change my life. It's going to change my life. <laughs> Would you press the button? I wouldn't have back in my day. I wouldn't have because I think back then... It was then, very different back It was very then, different. Though, you were so naive back then. I was naive, <laughs> I was, but I don't think I would have. I think for me at that time it wasn't about the money. That's changed. It's a game show. No. Back then it was a social experiment. Yeah. But Which no, you, you kind of hope deep in your mind that it still is partly that for some people. We want housemates that will be genuine. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a lot of money up for grabs. It is a game show, people say it, and sometimes people play it as a game, not the way they should. But once people keep watching, I couldn't give a fuck. But maybe you <laughs> hey! We got him to say the F word. <laughs> uh, okay, so earlier tonight, the final five housemates left the bungalow. But there were 12 more who didn't make it that far. Do you remember them? Yeah, they all came out to those amazing cheers on eviction nights. Uh, please welcome back the class of 2012. Take it away, Jeff. <laughs> Victoria, oh, so were you pleased with tonight's results? Because so, it must be must be strange for you because you left so early. Yeah, I was really pleased with tonight's results. Yeah, really, yeah. really pleased. Yeah. Happy that you came out. H happy I came H happy out. Happy that he stayed in. Sorry. A hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Let's go to uh, one of the insiders. Happy with the results tonight, Caroline? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I was really, yeah, really I thought thrilled. You might be. I thought you might be. Yeah. Uh, how has life been on the outside for you, Lydia? Um, I've loved it. I've loved meeting people, um, hearing what everyone thinks of the show, um, hearing what everyone thinks of all the rest of these guys. And it's just, it's just been a fantastic experience. And I want to say thank you to all of you guys for having us on bit on the side as well. We love no it on the side. No worries. <laughs> Connor, how has life been for you on the outside with 50,000 big ones in the bank? Expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. What have you done with it so far? Nothing. 
They haven't given Still it to me. Still got it all? No. You haven't got it yet? No, I haven't got it yet. Do you know what? It's like that when I try and get paid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doesn't happen. Um, who, Aaron, what's it been like for you on the outside? Because I haven't seen you for a while. No, it's all good. Things are picking up. It's like looking good. What? Bright future. A lot of stuff I can't talk about. A little bit of this. Oh, that old chestnut. I used to say that when I wasn't working oh, as well. <laughs> so, surely the best part of the whole experience was a bit on the side. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, if, if only to be here with you, Emma. Oh, that, see yeah. how I'm going to the people yeah. that I hope will really like us. <laughs> no, well done to Luke. A. Happy? Yeah, yeah so happy. Siobhan, what about you? Because you kind of. You were in the house on kind of one side, came out the house, saw different things. How are you feeling this evening now? Everybody's kind of back together and... No, it's really good. I knew that would be the final three, definitely. You did. And it's amazing that it was Luke A and Adam because they're best friends, so I think they would have been really happy. It was really nice to see the two of them at the And they would have been it? happy if either of them had won, so yeah. it's awesome. I think it was good. OK, fantastic. Uh, it's good to see you all here again uh, this evening. Uh, that is enough for this part. Uh, Brian, as you've had a busy one tonight, then we're going to excuse you. Yes. Uh, uh, we Thank have you. laid on a little treat for you. Brian! I just seen his balls! <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink it all at once. We'll be we'll 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 <laughs> no, fine. We'll be fine. You can let's go. You can go. See you, Brian! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What was it like seeing Max again? Oh, Max. That's the one that you had your oh, eye on, wasn't oh it? Oh, gosh, yeah. I was in love with him. He does yes. have a nice bottom. Uh, Brian should not be doing that. That's my job to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. There's still them. time, sweetheart. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, still to come, your winner right here in the studio. Don't go anywhere. Woo!